Joe here with the Ido Prepper channel and today I'm going to be installing this tactical vest and helmet wall rack by One Tigress inside of my Minuteman ready gun cabinet. Let's get it done. Alright, so the first thing I need to do is get all of this stuff out of here and uninstall the system that I already have in place for hanging my vest. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is install a 2x4 block on the back of my gun cabinet here. And that is what I'm going to be attaching my tactical vest wall rack to. So um, there's no studs right here. This is just sheetrock. So obviously I can't mount my my vest rack to here. It's just too much weight for it to, for sheetrock to hold. So I'll just put the block back here. And, you know, if you're going to install one of these yourself, just make sure that you mount it to either a stud or you do what I do and put a two by four block um, in its place. So that way, you know, you have something sturdy enough to hold the weight. Okay, so I guess I should go ahead and open this up and see exactly what we're working with here. So obviously this looks like the rack that our vest sits on. And I think this is the top where the helmet sits on. And this must be where it mounts to. Got some mounting hardware. And the wall bracket. And don't forget the instructions. Okay, so now that I've got my block cut, now I'm just going to go ahead and determine how high I want my rack to be. Okay, so now that I've determined my height, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my countersink bit to pre-drill my screw holes uh, for mounting the block. So it's not a total necessary thing to countersink your screw holes, but in my opinion, when you're constructing anything with screws, I just think that not only does it make just placing the screw into what you need to a lot easier, but it also prevents um, splitting of the wood, which just overall makes whatever project you're working on uh, that much stronger. <clears throat> Okay, so now I gotta make all this look like this.
All right, so I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Sorry, I'm kind of working within a tight space. It's hard to get me and the camera in this area, but my two by four is just a little too narrow to receive this mounting bracket here. So you can see this block is um, just a little too wide and they have screw holes here, here and here. And if I mount it, these screw holes have nothing to bite into. I have no way of putting a screw and mounting it here. So I'm gonna go get a two by six block and replace this two by four with it. And then that way I can get a, uh, a, a proper bite on this wall. All right, well, I didn't have a two by six, but I did have a nice two by eight piece of cedar. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace the two by four with this cedar. And uh, this will actually look a lot better. Okay, so now that I have my mounting block installed, I'm gonna go ahead and install our vest rack. Okay, so before I do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and establish the center of this block. So that way I can mount our vest rack perfectly centered inside of our cabinet. Okay, so that should fit just fine. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and install our hanger. All right, so just to kind of show you how this is all uh, being installed in order. So you basically, you put your washer in first like that. And then you take your uh, screw receiver. You can see that it's just a, uh, Kind of like a threaded bolt and that goes right in the front there like that and then you take your bolt right there and you put it in behind behind here and then you take your allen wrench and then just tighten it up like that Okay, so the last thing I have to install here is just the belt holder. And this really just consists of kind of a bolt at the top of the hook here with two nuts that kind of sandwich it together on the bracket here. So this basically just goes in this hole right here on the mount. And you can actually, I think, just adjust the height of it with the, uh, the nuts. Take this high quality little wrench that they provide for you and just cinch this up like that. All right, there you have it. Okay, so our tactical vest and helmet rack is fully installed inside the cabinet here. Uh, overall, I'd say it worked out really well. It is a little tight, you know, this type of system probably isn't ideal for this cabinet. Uh, it's really just meant for like a, a wall, um, something like that, but uh, everything works in here okay. It's just kind of a, it's kind of a tight squeeze to get my rifles in here. Originally, I had my rifles leaning up against the sides of the cabinet here, um, but because this rack pushes the vest out so much and the belt and everything i ended up having to reconfigure the brackets that receive the barrels here and just put them in the back but it fits everything looks good but i just wanted to show you how this looked with the helmet and the belt hanging here and now i'm going to get my vest and hang my vest from the rack right here And there it is, so.
yeah, if you're running steel plates like I am, you definitely want to make sure that whatever you mount this to, that it's really strong because I have a lot of weight on this rack. But uh, it is a testament to the rack. Everything's holding up really well. It's all steel and solid wood. So I'm not worried about this breaking or cracking or anything. All right, you guys, well, that'll about do it for me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing one of these tactical vest and helmet wall racks, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description where you can pick one of these up. Uh, also, I'll leave a link in the description to my Amazon influencer page, which has all of the gear that I use in all of my videos. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, go ahead and hit that notification bell at the top of your screen. And don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. And also, if you have any questions for me or comments for me, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. So until the next time, stay prepared. Okay, now...